Neurotouch is a handheld, portable, peripheral neuropathy screening device that enables the user to perform small and large fiber neuropathy tests according to the American Diabetes Association guidelines. The tests include the monofilament test, vibration perception test, hot and cold perception test, and foot temperature measurement. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the device. Ensure that the device is fully charged. With 3 hours of charging, you can use NeuroTouch for about 5 hours. Toggle the power key to the right to switch on the device. After the splash screen, you can see the home screen where all the tests are aligned on the keypad. You need to perform the test on 12 test points on the patient's foot, starting from the right foot. Hallux First metatarsal head Third metatarsal head Fifth metatarsal head Medial aspect of foot arch Posterior aspect of the heel Hot perception test we will begin the screening with the hot perception test. Click the right key to start the hot perception test. You can see the test point number on the left with two temperatures in the middle of the screen. The temperature displayed at the center of the screen indicates the temperature of the probe, while the temperature displayed below indicates the temperature that you can set the probe to. Place the hot probe against the patient's test point. Take feedback from the patient. The patient should perceive mild warmth when the probe is placed against the test point. Hold the probe against the test point for approximately 3 to 5 seconds as it takes some time for the patient to perceive the warmth of the probe. Do not hold the hot probe against the test point for more than 5 seconds as it may cause a burn injury. If the patient cannot feel the warmth, increase the temperature by clicking the UP key and place the probe again on the same test point. If the patient can feel the warmth, press the CENTER key followed by the RIGHT key to save the data. After screening all 12 test points, the display will come back to test point 1 with a star next to it. The star indicates that the data has been saved at that particular test point. Check all points to ensure none of the points have been missed. You can redo the test on that particular point. Come back to the home screen by long pressing the left key. Vibration Perception Test Click the bottom key to start the vibration perception test. To perform the vibration perception test, set the voltage to 10 volts by clicking the up arrow key. You can use 10 volts as the starting value for all 12 test points. Place the vibration probe against the patient's test point. Take feedback from the patient. When the probe is placed on the test point, the patient should feel a mild vibration. If the patient can't feel the mild vibration, increase the voltage by clicking the UP key. Place the probe again on the same test point and take feedback from the patient. If the patient can feel the vibration, save the data by pressing the center and right keys. The test will proceed to the next test point. After screening all the 12 test points, come back to the home screen by long pressing the left key. IR Thermal Screening To screen the foot temperature, start the IR thermometer test by clicking the center key. A blue LED light will glow up at the front of the device next to the IR thermometer. Hold the device less than 1.5 cm away from the test point. 
Save the value by pressing the center key followed by the right key. The test automatically proceeds to the next test point. Patient response is not needed as we are recording just the temperature. Do not retrieve the device from the test point before saving the data. After screening all 12 test points, come back to the home screen by long pressing the left key. Monofilament test There are three types of monofilaments. The green monofilament can record pressure up to 10 grams. The blue monofilament can record pressures up to 25 grams. And with the red monofilament, you can record the pressure of up to 50 grams. Click the up key to start the monofilament test. You can see an empty bar chart on the display. Start every test point with the green monofilament. Place the monofilament gently on the monofilament holder. Do not twist or press the monofilament too hard into the monofilament holder. After placing the filament, the bar chart will fill up. Reset the data by clicking the center key and the left key. Now gently press the monofilament on the patient's test point. Take feedback from the patient. The patient should perceive a touch sensation. If the patient can feel the touch sensation, press the center key followed by the right key to save the data. If the patient couldn't feel the touch sensation, despite the green monofilament being completely buckled, replace the green monofilament with the blue monofilament. Reset the data and repeat the test at the same test point. If the patient still fails to feel the touch sensation, despite the blue monofilament being completely buckled, Replace the blue monofilament with the red monofilament, reset the data and repeat the test at the same test point. If at any point during the test, the patient can feel the touch sensation, save the data by pressing the center and right keys. The test proceeds to the next test point. After screening all 12 test points, come back to the home screen by long pressing the left key. Cold Perception Test Click the left key to start the cold perception. You can see the test point number on the left with two temperatures in the middle of the screen. The temperature displayed at the center of the screen indicates the temperature of the probe while the temperature displayed below indicates the temperature to which you can set the probe. Place the cold probe against the patient's test point. Take feedback from the patient. The patient should perceive mild coldness when the probe is placed against the test point. Hold the probe against the test point for approximately 3 to 5 seconds as it takes some time for the patient to perceive the coldness of the probe. If the patient is not able to feel the coldness, decrease the temperature by clicking the down key and place the probe again on the same test point. If the patient can feel the coldness, then press the center and right keys to save the data. The test proceeds to the next test point. After screening all 12 test points, the display will come back to test point 1 with a star next to it. The star indicates that the data has been saved at that particular test point. Check all the points to see whether you have missed any points. You can redo the test on that particular point. Come back to the home screen by long pressing the left key. Toggle the power key to the left to switch off the device. Data Transfer Download the NeuroTouch app from the Play Store or App Store. Open the app and allow all the permissions. Enter your user ID and password and enable Bluetooth and GPS for the app. Now switch on the NeuroTouch device. 
on the back of the device there will be a device serial number and the same number will appear on the app click on that number to allow pairing with the device manual pairing if you did not find the device serial number on the app screen then go to the bluetooth setting there among the available devices, you will find the NeuroTouch device with the device serial number. Click on it to pair the device. Now come back to the NeuroTouch app. The device serial number will appear on the screen. Click on that number to allow pairing with the device. After pairing the device, long press the center key and right arrow key to send the data. Afterwards, there will be two options. Send data to the server, upload the patient's details. Click on Upload Patient Details. Select the consulting doctor and fill in the mandatory details. Fill in the ambient temperature without fail. Click on Submit. You can view the report within the app and also in the File Manager. Send data to the server. Click on Send data to the server. Now open the browser and go to reports.neurotouch.co. Enter the login credentials. After logging in, you will see the home page. On the left hand side of the home page, you can see home, patients, test, and logout. Click on tests where you can see all the reports. Click on the latest test ID after confirming the device serial number and date of report generation. Select the consulting doctor and fill in the mandatory fields. If the patient is diabetic, then select Yes option and enter the HbA1c. Fill in the ambient temperature without fail. Click on Submit. After generating the report, you can download the report directly from the server.